Well, it's just two months until Christmas. It's October 25th, 2015. I'm here with Josh and we are going to hopefully summit uh, Chester Mountain today. It's a good 1,150 meter elevation gain. And fortunately, the weather's nice enough to allow us to be here. So we'll see what happens. This is what we're going to scramble up today, is up that, and so then we'll head up here. Looks a little daunting. Gosh, is going wild. So here's a an air bubble that we have trapped underneath the ice. <laughs> How cool is that? Ah, the fun you can have with nature. Pretty excited because I got a feeling that today, for the first time, I'm going to hike to above 10,000 feet. Which is pretty, pretty big challenge. We're getting there. Pretty steep here. <laughs> we'll take a look at the angle we're on. Just look down between your legs. Not freaking out. Woo! Oh boy! Yeah. That's yeah. Just went, went into my. Mind. Yeah, it's a little scary. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. This is my first time actually doing. Yeah, well, you picked, you, you picked a good one. And we're just uh, about to get over 10,000 10, feet. Well, how's wow. it look? Holy smokes. <laughs> that is unreal. That is, that is something else. That is stunning. Watch your step, though, right? You don't want to. I don't want to be on this. You don't want to go over the edge. <laughs> wow, we are so close to the top. Here is the, the peak of Mount Chester, the highest elevation I've ever hiked to. And let's see how the view looks. Oh, false summit, a little bit more. A little snow up here, not bad. It's been a beautiful and challenging hike on a gorgeous day, late October. And here we are. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What a beautiful piece of this world. Here he comes. Making it up. His first ever summit. I can't believe this is your first massive hike, buddy. You did fantastic. And congratulations. We are above 10,000 feet. Nice job. All right. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, this is unreal. This is pretty amazing. All right, yo, well we made it to the top of Chester Mountain here in Peter Lougheed Park, just south of Kananaskis. And both Josh and I are super stoked because it's over 10,000 feet. Yeah, so Josh, how's it feel to be on top of a mountain? It's incredible. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit surreal right now. I wasn't sure how the hike was going to go being my first uh, time summiting. You know, once, once you get up here, you realize just how rewarding it is to push yourself and uh, push those boundaries and you gain a lot of confidence I think that you can use forward in your everyday life and I think that's uh, I think that's pretty priceless. Absolutely well, that's a that's a fine message for today Josh thanks very much I, yeah. I completely agree and it's 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 unreal. Yeah. Th this has been uh, super rewarding for me because I've never been above 10,000 feet before which is just a little over 3,000 meters and we just had a really nice hike here and it's the it's the end of October and I just feel so lucky that we could do this and have this experience. So thanks for joining me, Josh. Yeah, anytime. Soar to new heights. Cheers. So when Josh and I got to the top, and we met a couple other fellows from Banff, they commented, they said, holy cow, did you guys come up the face? Which we did. Um, and if you can see those two the, the two furthest right sort of lines of snow, that's about where we ascended. Because there is actually some paths that will take you there. But we didn't realize how challenging it was when we were doing it. It's just that after doing it, we realized, hey, that was, uh, that was pretty extreme. So there we are, three hours ago we were up top. And now there's this little guy down here. He's not so little. We're going to stay nice and clear of Mr. Moose. Hey buddy, take it easy. 
He doesn't care. <laughs>